perhaps a more um, pointed question is, uh, what bonsai tools does a beginner need? Well, uh, I would suggest that bonsai beginners, you know, get hold of uh, a decent set of bonsai uh, tools. You need bonsai tools because bonsai tools are, are sharp on both ends, uh, especially the scissors and the cutters. So when they cut the branches, they cut cleanly and tidily. So the branches heal much better, uh, the roots heal much better. Uh, and because of that, the tree survives a lot longer and uh, you have a good chance of making a, a, an excellent hobby out of bonsai. Uh, so now we come to the question of what uh, bonsai tools. I have five little simple things that I keep in, in the beginner's pouches that I, when I'm teaching beginners. It, it is, a, the first of all is uh, shears, it's a general purpose bonsai shears. Uh, the shears are again sharp on both sides and the cutting edges and they're very clean and, and uh, cut. They have a handle that you can use to grip firmly. Uh, the next thing to use is, uh, or get hold of when you can, is a branch cutter. The branch cutters are uh, highly specialist bonsai tools and the branch cutters help you cut off branches from trees, from the bonsai trees, without leaving a scar effectively. So the scar heals over properly because of the way the, the bonsai tool is shaped, or the bonsai cutter is shaped. Another thing you need to get is a wire cutter. I don't recommend using normal wire cutters for the simple reason normal wire cutters have a, a pointed tip and uh, unfortunately lots of accidents happen with them. Bonsai wire cutters on the other hand have a round nose tip or a snub nose tip and they fit flush to the branch so you can cut off the wire as and when you need to. Another important tool, and this is very important for repotting, is the a simple chopstick. I use a metal chopstick. All my students tend to use metal chopsticks. For the simple reason, they are a lot more durable and, mm, uh, well, handier to use. Uh, and they are smaller uh, in, so they are pencil thickness, so they are easier to manage. Um, another last bit of tool is, is a spatula. Spatula is very important to, well, tamp in the soil and to mm, stamp in the moss that we add towards the end of our repotting. Uh, so these are the five tools that a beginner should start with or you know, aspire to build up with it, at least in the first year. After that, of course, there are hundreds of tools that you can explore. If you're looking for more tools and how to use them, check out some of my other videos there. Uh, I have a few of them online.